How much fat do we need? The DRI say we should eat somewhere between 20 and 35% of our total energy from fat. Although most nutritionists agree that you can safely go as low as 10% and as high as 40% and you're still fine. We don't want to get too much primarily because they are so energy dense so that would lead to weight and fat accumulation and in turn all the risks associated with obesity, first and foremost, cardiovascular disease and type 2 diabetes. But on the other hand, we also don't want to get too little because as you know, some fatty acids are essential. We need them for our survival and we need to get them directly from food. Without essential fatty acids, our skin becomes flaky and itchy, our immune system becomes weaker, we develop neurological problems, heart dysfunctions, and eventually we die. Plus, without fats in our diet, we would also be missing the fat-soluble vitamins A, D, E, and K that are associated with fat and need fat in order to be absorbed. The real trick about fat intake is that quality is much more important than the quantity. So if you eat 40% of your energy from fat, but that's all from saturated and trans fats, then it's very bad. You should get less than 10% of your energy from saturated fats, while trans fat intake should be kept to a minimum. The American Heart Association recommends less than 1% of total calories from trans. Your polyunsaturated fat intake should be somewhere between 5 and 10%. As you can see, there is a maximum level for polyunsaturated fats too, mainly due to the risks associated with their oxidation. Another factor to keep in mind about polyunsaturated fats is the ratio between omega-3 and omega-6, which ideally is between 1 to 2 and 1 to 4, meaning at least a gram of omega-3 for every 2 to 4 grams of omega-6. As we can easily calculate, since we have a limit of 10% of total calories from saturated fats and 10% from polyunsaturated fats, it ensues that if our lipid intake exceeds 20% of the total energy, the rest can only come from monounsaturated fats, basically olive oil, like they did in Crete.